Okay, okay. It is the one and only Ronan the Traveler, man. I appreciate you guys, man. Make sure you like the videos. And if you've not subscribed, subscribe to the channel, man. It helps a lot. So, man, I got to ask a question I never got before. And it's from a brother by the name of Andrew, 28 years old. He said he is a Asian American. And what he asks is this, what do Latinas want in a man? Thought it was a good question, but he goes on to say, he said, look, man, I want to date some Latinas. So I got on uh, Tinder and Bumble and I have had no luck, zero. So I decided to maybe travel to Latin America and when I started watching YouTube, you popped up. So what do they want? Can you please make a video about this? And man, this is a good question, man. I asked my old lady and other ladies I know, and I'm going to tell you what two Dominicans, a Colombian and a Venezuelan told me. Now, then I'm going to tell you about what I think. But brother, I definitely feel you on them dating sites, man. The level of delusion on these dating sites is next level. But you got to understand where this come from. And I'm going to give you uh, an example. Now, everybody knows that listen to my story times. I went on a date with a woman who had a voice box and didn't have no legs. Man, if you didn't watch that, man, go find that in my story times, man, about how I got catfish, man. It was crazy. But I met another chick one time that I didn't do a video about yet, man, but this is crazy. So I'm on match.com and the chick hit me up and I'm st and I'm talking with her back and forth and we start doing video calls and she looked pretty, I'm seeing her. So we decided to go on a date. I meet up with her at a restaurant and she walk in there and the chick, she looked good, man. Big hips looking, you know, looking nice like a like old boy light. Man, this chick comes to the table and she take her jacket off and I know this, but I'm looking, I'm laughing, thinking about it, man. She pulled her jacket off and dude, she had one tit. She didn't have titties. She had one tit. So the whole time I'm looking at it and, and I'm thinking to myself, damn, what, did she have cancer? Did she? So I finally asked her, say, do you have cancer? She said, no, I was born this way. And to me, that's the stuff that started getting me that, that delusion. It's like a weird delusion, but the delusion comes from somewhere. The reason why women wasn't really picking you because they have so many options. Ladies in the States have these options because a lot of it is dudes are thirsty. You know, we beat up on the women a lot saying, but women are delusional, but they get this from somewhere. You know, all the validation these women get. Dudes are like hungry, hungry hippos, man. They, they, they prop these women up, man. And she was even telling me how much men was hitting her. I didn't talk to her, uh, you know, cause I like to suck my titties in pairs. I can't deal with one of them. So I ain't really deal with no more, but she was all right chick, but that's the kind of stuff that you're dealing with. Now, you want to know about what Latin women want. So I'm going to start with my old lady. I asked her, I said, look, what do you think is a attractive quality in a man and a partner? First thing she told me was, I need a man who's dominant, somebody who acts like a man who will stand up to me. And that goes with that protection. She's like, I like that you're with me. I feel protected. You're dominant. You don't let me mouth off. What you say is final. And man, you know, you try to run this with somebody in the States, you will have, you know, a hard time. So. I asked one of my homegirls, another Dominican. I say, if you had to pick something in a man that you find the most sexiest thing that you value. And I said, what is it? And she say, family oriented. She say, family holds an important role in Latin culture. She believes that if a man is a part of the family and he's gonna respect her, things will be good family ties and everything because because 
what she's saying is true, man. When I'm when I'm in the DR, man, and my old lady family, like her brother lived down the street, her mom lived down the street, and we always partying and eating and having a good time. And this ties into the next thing women want. Women want Latina likes a man who can dance. The whole family's been teaching me, man. You know, I know I do bus stop and our little American dances, but the whole family has been teaching me to bachata. And this is a funny thing. My old lady has a joke about me all the time. She said, I can tell you be around those Japanese daughters and the women on Pedro Casante. She said, I dance like those women on the on the strip. She said, the women on the strip been teaching you. So we have a little thing. Make sure that if you want to really get serious, man, and you know, you come into the DR, man, or wherever you're going, you know, embrace that family, man. Embrace that, em embrace certain things, man. Um, even with you, man, get your masculinity right. You know, cause this is all American men are very liberal. Like what I mean by liberal, I'm not talking about it from like a, a political stance. I'm talking about it from like, we're just free. We like, we're not really trying to, we, a lot of us don't grow up in traditional households. So we don't really force it, man. You got to force that, man. You got to be a man because if you're weak in the game, man, she's going to run off with another man. Nobody wants these women don't want to be in like gay relationships two women in the house you know if you're in acting like a girl you arguing with her doing this and she's just to feel like she's in the house with a whole nother woman that's why you you know you got to have those communication skills man you need to have you know, effective communication because it's critical for building a strong collection with latinas man look i'm no dating coach i'm asking this of women these are things I'm asking them. So I ask the Colombian woman, you know, what do you really want? What 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 do you think is a good thing? And I and I don't been with, you know, I don't know how many Dominicans now. Dominicans, Colombians, Venezuelans, a Cuban. I don't dealt with many Latin. I like Latinas, man, all different colors. Now I don't, man, Latin Latin women them changed my whole thing, man. They're very, but get ready, man. They're very spicy and they're very jealous. They are jealous. And look, you want to come and really have a good relationship with a Latina? Give her a compliment, man. These women take great pride in how they look, man. They hair always nice. The nails always nice. And let me give you an example. My old lady, I noticed everything about her. She got her nails done the other day and um, her hair was nice and I walked up behind her and this is another thing man that body touch I rubbed her shoulder and said baby you look beautiful today I'm happy to have you man she was singing around the house and dancing she was so happy that I had give her those compliments man so always do that kind of thing man this you know these are some good points that will help you man and now i want to talk about how i see it we're gonna get through how i see everything first i will tell you man to understand this right here man you are the prize man you're the prize and the first thing i would do if i was you if you're coming to the dominican republic it sounds like you need a reset you need to be almost like a baptism. I would tell you to go to Sasu, Dominican Republic, and go have you a good weekend. Go on Pedro Casante, Rombas, hit all the local spots and embrace that. And you will come out of it as a new person. Go meet as many chicks as you can. Have so much fun. And you will see when you do go back to America, you will be a different person, man. You will have the glow, man. You will be the last dragon. Go watch my video about me and Mr. Lee giving me them pills. Go watch that video, man. You will be the last dragon, man. This will help you get your mojo back. And because the thing that happened with me, when I, I first came to here, I had dated so many women. I went back to the United States, man. I was a different person. I'm looking at women. And look, it helped me even women would look at me more because I had so much confidence. I'm walking around there my nose turned up and I'm acting like they acting so 
because when you go to Latin America, everything flips. You're the finance chick. The women run behind you. How in the States, everybody's running behind the women. And I don't know why men run behind women like that so much in the States, because you have so many women. Why are you running behind something when things go up in value when it's less, when it's less, it's more. I don't know why the value is so high. A lot of men act like they can't get anybody. And again, I'm no dating coach. I'm just like, dudes need a refresher course in what it is to be a man and masculine. So man, I hope this answered your question. Brother, you're the prize. Don't worry. You come to the DR, man. You good. And you go to Columbia, you could just be safe. I always recommend the men from public because um, I'm always over there. It's a, it's a good spot. You, you know, you're gonna be pretty safe. I don't care what color you are, you're gonna be, just carry yourself a certain way. And if if you're gonna come to the DR, let me know. If I'm on the island, I'll buy you a beer flip-flop. So we are out, man. Appreciate you guys, man. Shout out to the Blue Book. <laughs>